Belden was in a foul mood when he arrived at the office the next morning. Before he placed his hand on the doorknob, he heard the phone ring, and Lucille's bright voice chirped. Good morning, Chase and Dagger Detective Agency. Give us a challenge and we'll deliver the goods. Scowling, he entered to hear the typewriter tapping away from his inner office behind the closed door. He gave Lucille a curious stare, motioning with his head toward the sound as he hung up his coat and hat. She was here before I got to work, the little secretary whispered. I don't know what she's all upset about, but she's been muttering and blowing her nose the whole time she's been typing away. Any phone calls or messages I need to know about? He asked in a vain attempt to divert the woman's attention away from the impending drama. A couple of calls inquiring about your rates, but that's all, Mr. Chase. Is there something going on between you and Miss Dagger I need to know about? She tilted her head at him, concern in her voice. If you're worried about your job, don't be, Belden reassured her. Aura and I are having some difficulties with this case is all. He tried to remain nonchalant as he poured himself a cup of coffee. When he finally opened the door, he found Aura sitting at his desk, her back to him as she continued to pound away on the keys. He closed the door behind him but remained standing there, waiting to be acknowledged. When she finally jerked the paper from the typewriter and turned around, it was evident he hadn't been the only one who'd had a rough night last night. She barely gave him a glance as she took a pen from his stand and signed her name at the bottom of the sheet. When she was done, she replaced the pen in the holder, got up, and approached him with the paper in hand. Aura slapped the sheet against his chest, holding it there until he took it. There. This is my official two weeks notice. It took me a few tries to get it to where I was satisfied, but I decided in the end it was best if I kept it short and simple. At the mention of her past attempts, Belden checked the wastebasket to see the wadded reject she'd thrown in it. She started to walk by him when he stopped her. Aura, what do you think you're doing? She whirled on him, her face flushed, but this time her anger was mixed with tears. What I should have done months ago, when I first realized I was in love with you. Her voice hitched. She took a deep breath to steady herself. You don't have to worry any more about how you're going to be rid of me. Exactly two weeks from today, at five o'clock, on the dot, I'm walking out of here and I won't be back. Or a wait, that's not what I meant last night. He started to protest, but she cut him off. How long have you been waiting to break it to me? How long have you been planning to tell me? She poked the paper at his chest. I stayed up all night, thinking about what you'd said, and you know what I realized? It came to me, from out of the blue. When it hit me, I knew I'd been such a stupid, stupid fool. I opened up my heart to you. I let you know how I really feel about you, and I didn't think that you didn't. She swiped at her tears and swallowed hard. I made the mistake of thinking you loved me too. How could I have been so stupid? You never thought of me as anything other than someone who needed saving, like I was a pupil you could teach and guide and turn into a productive citizen. I was nothing more to you than a the lost puppy or a stray kitten. Take her in, feed her, give her a sense of purpose, and then let her go. When all this time I looked up to you because I fell in love with you. Aura, I... No. Hush, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear you say you love me too, just to placate me. I'm not placating you. Yes, you are. <sniffs> she sniffed, nodding her head. You are. Don't deny it. Because if you really loved me, you wouldn't have thought about pushing me away. You wouldn't have come up with this grand scheme to teach me all I needed to know so you could shove me out of the office a few months later. Well, buddy boy, all your worries are over. You don't have to waste another minute thinking about it. Here's my signed letter of resignation, all legal and tidy. From here on out, we're partners in name only. And on the 26th, you can take one of those claws of yours and scratch my name off the door. Got that? Satisfied? Good.